Hello and welcome to episode 33 of the Keith Tap and X podcast. It is August 25th, 1944. Yeah. I think uh, I always default to shout that. Shout out to here. World War II. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. I think we made that same exact joke like 10 episodes ago. <laughs> Maybe. Shout out. Shout out to the Allied Forces. Never forget. Mm-hmm. Fighting them Nazis. <laughs> how topical. Yeah, how topical. <laughs> so, how you guys doing? Eh. I'm alright. How about you, Nicole? <laughs> what are you doing on my medical tape over there, Blake? I don't know. There's a hair on it. I was... Oh, thank you. Yeah. Cool. I, I got Cats were playing with it. Content. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Quality content. Quality. Why are you meh? I'm, no, I'm not. I just want to say it. Okay. Yeah. Lit. Um, <laughs> Let's go right into it, shall we? Any updates? No. Yeah. Updates none? for the channel. Uh, none? All right. Yeah. None. <laughs> yeah, not really. Uh, we're get, uh, People comment on our YouTube videos. Yeah. Uh, shout well, outs to... As of like... Yesterday or the day before, and thirty-three minutes ago. Yeah, shout Thanks. out to those you guys. Want, you want me to read the username? Yeah, do it. Yeah, right, sure. Right. Shout out. Yeah. Shout out to. It's loading. The app's loading. <laughs> shout right. out to it's loading. All right. Um. Let's see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Logan Chappelle. Uh huh. He commented two days ago. He said first. Cool. I'll take Our it. Our first first. <laughs> Our first first. <laughs> and then, as of like forty-five minutes ago, real. B zero two gamer, shout out to you. Shout yeah. out B. Thanks. Talking about his Dokkan uh, yeah. polls. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. So uh, next week for Let's Plays, we're probably gonna have more Bayonetta. Yep. And then uh, we'll get some more stuff for you next week after and whatnot. So other than that, uh, Dave and I've been streaming. Yeah. So check th- us out. Oh. Thanks for all the new followers on on Twitch. We're at twenty eight now. Yeah, twenty eight now. So you know, uh, be sure to follow us. Check us out on uh, t- Twitch.tv slash Keep Oh yeah. And um, we we're playing some Total War the other night. Yeah, playing some Total War. Fuck that game. It's bullshit. <laughs> Cheats. I hate it. It's pretty good. Talk about later. Good. Fuck it. Yeah. Um, so we'll go right into uh, releases. Okay. Oh, uh, all right. So August 22nd, no. we had Chroma Gun. Don't PS4. know what that is. I feel like I've heard of it, but I don't know what it is. Yeah. We had Majors of Mistralia. It's like Australia of Mystery. Majors I think I made that joke last night. Oh, yeah, that was the Harry yeah. Potter one. Yeah. Oh, okay. PS4. <laughs> We had Minecraft Story Mode for the Switch, <laughs> The Escapist 2, yep. Yep. PC, PS4, and Xbox One. That's the big one. Yeah. Uncharted, The Lost Legacy, oh, yeah, PS4. And White Day, A Labyrinth Named School, PC and PlayStation 4. A Labyrinth 4. Named School. It's basically um, about like school shooters. No. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, yeah, sounds, most of them are white. It sounds All super right. angry. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, August 25th. White, white Day in Japan is a day where it's like the opposite of Valentine's Day, where the opposite gender gives... Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Yep. Cool. So it's probably a super weeb. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah. All right. August 25th, we had F1 2017, some car game. PC, not a, not PlayStation a, not 4, Xbox F-Zero. One. Not even F-Zero. F1. Not worth it. <laughs> yeah. Superior to F1. Madden NFL 18. Cool. PS4, Xbox One. Naruto Shibuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Legacy for PS4. Yes. That, or, um, Xbox One, PC, what? That's very much worth it because that's like a collection oh, of the Naruto oh. Shibuden games uh, made by uh, CyberConnect. Like so, I, when I looked it up, like all I saw was this like default box art, and I was like, this comes out in like two days and doesn't have like a, a good box art. This is weird. It's, <laughs> um, I didn't know it was like yeah, a If you want to watch Naruto, don't get these games. <laughs> Yeah, that's I, all I, I can say. That, if that collection's like not that expensive, I might actually uh, get that. I'm, I'm up right quick. I've never cool. played one of those games. I always hear they're really good. While you look it up, we also had One Piece Unlimited World Red Deluxe Edition for PC and PS4. Yeah, I don't think the One Piece games are any good. I don't, I've never heard one that's like super good. Sounds like we got to face off in One Piece Grand Battle for the GameCube. Oh, let's do shit. it. <laughs> let's do it. You don't want. <laughs> it's weird. How much is this collection? Thirty four kids. That's not it. Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Legacy. Oh, dumbass. <laughs> Legacy. Legacy. Yeah, bro. It's probably there. Bucks. It is. Eighty bucks. Oh, 80 bucks. okay. Never mind. Pre-owned seventy. Ooh. Never mind. Yet. Yeah. W- what's in this? Lay it on us. He- oh, send feedback. Huge value with four full games in one package. Okay. HD remasters of one, two, three, full burst, and four. Okay. Road to Boruto. Includes exclusive steelbook case, Ooh. Naruto art book, and Ooh. bonus anime disc. 
Whatever that means. Okay. New generation systems with the power of the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Steam. <laughs> Legacy will take players through an incredible journey of beautifully anime rendered lights. Fights. <laughs> light, <laughs> Includes light. DLC content, characters, costumes, and scenarios. Oh, so it's everything in all the DLC. Yeah, okay. no, it That's says cool. not all the DLC content. What the fuck? Is, oh. <laughs> is oh, that a good portion? That's a good deal, though. That is a good no, deal, but it's still so expensive. <laughs> I disagree. You don't think so? I want all the DLC. You're right. But you got a steel book. Ooh. No, but really, it's better than like watching Naruto. So. Oh yeah. 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 Have fun. Yeah, that's it for all new right. releases. Yeah. I actually like do want to pick that up. Like I'm heavily tempted to mm-hmm. one day. Yeah, I, I mean I'm tempted to. Just eighty bucks is kind of yeah. just it's steep, just man. steep right now. Yeah. It'll it'll go on sale eventually. If it does, I'll probably get it. Want to get into it? Yeah, man. Sorry. Jump into news. All right. So we got two updates Whoa. from previous weeks. Whoa. Whoa. Maybe that crash meme. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we had more uh, SNES Classic Edition shenanigans. Oh, so boy. these are separate from the 10 stories. My friend got oh, one. Oh, boy. Yeah? yeah. Friend Sarah. She was like, she did it for shits and jiggles. Mm-hmm. And she was like, oh, I wonder. And I was like, congratulations. She was like, whoa. <laughs> I did it. Yeah. She, she, now she doesn't know what to do with it. So. Sell it. August 22nd, 1.12 a.m. Yep. All right, this is some serious shit. All right. It went up on Best Buy. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, it was gone 20 minutes. Okay. I went on, I went on Twitter 19 minutes in, and I was like, oh, this is cool. It sold out. Wow. I was wow. like, damn. 4.36 a.m., mm-hmm. same morning. It went up on Amazon. But it was sold by a third party, but shipped by Amazon. Oh, that, that deal. So it was like more expensive? No. Okay, at least that. And people were like, we don't know if they don't know if it's legit or not. Yeah, you know. So they were like talking to Amazon customer reps, and was like, yeah, this is legit. We're gonna put up like photos of it soon because it didn't have like photos, like the like a little tank Stop. square thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it was gone in thirty minutes, but I got mine in. Nice, nice. Oh, nice. So, so are you gonna keep it or resell it? I'm keeping that shit. Nah, yeah, nah. yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Are you gonna keep it? But no, I'll or... play that. Yeah. Because like, if it's anything like the original NES Classic, you can put more games on it. Mm. So I'll put like Turtles in Time, et cetera, on it. Zombies so, and Neighbors. Yeah, maybe. So <laughs> the play. same day, pre-orders went up for GameStop, Target, and Walmart. Toys R Us isn't taking pre-orders. <gasps> Damn. So today, I received an update sent via email on the SNES Classic Edition by me from Amazon. Himself. So I was worried. I was like, oh, here's the cancellation. Yeah. You know? yeah. Mm-hmm. So we were like, <clears throat> I'll read it. We recently learned that you may miss your delivery promise and apologize for the inconvenience. You will still receive your order of the Super NES Classic Edition. We are working hard to ensure you get this item as soon as that is, soon as it is in stock. So, okay. I don't care. At least I get yeah. it. Yeah, when at least you're going to get one. Yeah. Uh, September 29th or something? You're going to get it like December. <laughs> yeah. Next 31st. year. Yeah, let's get it next yeah. year. 2019. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. I got mine. The quest yeah. is over. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. So, yeah. Cool. Do you think uh, what? this is the end of their <laughs> retro mini consoles? No. You think they're going to do a. We're going to get an N64, N64 one next year. Mini, yeah. Mm-hmm. They like filed patents for like the N64 controller, oh. which they haven't had the patent in a long time for it. So. Well, there we go. That Proof. that's one of the cut stories from like three weeks ago. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. Interesting. So another update. That Kickstarter I backed, right? The and uh, the, oh, the controller. Yeah, the yeah. N64 mm-hmm. controller. Yep. So they they've gotten a lot of a lot more support than they originally in, initially anticipated. Yeah. Like <clears throat> like a bajillion percent more. Yeah. Wow. And they and they said in a backers update email that the number one request from backers was to add an octagonal gate to the controller. An as octagonal can, gate. Yeah. So if you look at the left joystick, yeah, well, yes. actually the only joystick. Oh, okay. There's like an octagon, like a that was on the yeah. original um, yeah. N64 it helps controller. For omnidirectional yeah. Omnidirectional yeah. kind of. On the picture we saw uh, last week, I think. I don't know if it was yes, last, it was week. last it was week. week. Yeah, it was last week. It was just a regular joystick. Yeah. Yep. So like to make it more faithful to the N64, I guess. People wanted to add that. So, I like that. Hey. Yeah, cool. But in doing so, mm-hmm. it's going to cost a few weeks in the production schedule. Mm-hmm. Um, it's still pushing for the same delivery window, but this is in- but this and the increased demand may cause a 60-day delivery 
A delay. Yeah. 60 day <laughs> delay <laughs> in delivery. There's like four D's in that sentence. It's fine. We get uh, you. Yeah. So it's going to take more time to modify like the stuff. And for every and stuffs. That's, well, it looks cool. Yeah, yeah, that looks really it's cool. It's also $80 more. Yeah. <laughs> Same price. That's awesome. Just yeah. they got to like change some shit about it. It's like a really good Mad Cats controller. That's yeah. what it reminds me of. Yeah. yeah. I hope it plays well. Yeah. I hope it plays well. Cool. So, now let's get into the news. Those are updates. Yeah, man. We're into the news now. Yeah. So, there's going to be a new Shout motorcycle. <laughs> wow. It's going to be a new Overwatch update. Right? Hey. Oh, that's that will change one. Mercy. All right? Change mm-hmm. the world. Yeah. All right. I don't know anything about Overwatch, but here, here's <laughs> here's what I wrote down. All right. Oh, okay. yeah. There's a new <laughs> ultimate. Yep. yep. Valkyrie. Okay. All yep. right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Resurrect is going to be a second ability. I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Mm-hmm. Elaborate. So what it means is Mercy's a support character, and her ultimate made it so any allies within a certain range of her, she would revive and mm-hmm. come back. Um, what they're doing is they're getting rid of that alt, making it instead of. Uh, like you build up an ultimate and then you can revive anybody in that range. You can revive a person. You can resurrect them mm-hmm. once every 30 seconds. So you can just point to someone, hit your you know, Q or whatever, and then yep. resurrect them every 30 seconds. Yeah, so, so instead of it being an AOE res, a single target res. Yeah, exactly. So is this better or worse? So that's fine. But her ultimate, Valkyrie, makes her it's second basically... Ultimate. Yeah, her yeah. new ultimate. Yeah, yeah. Um, makes it so she can fly like on her own, just like permanently. She's like super fast. Her bullet or uh, her like gun. Like supersonic in Smash yeah. Brothers. Yeah. Well, actually, kind of, yeah. yeah. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like way easier to control. Okay. <laughs> uh, her gun, you don't have to reload. And she just shoots faster and everything. So this is really broken. So it's like Yoshi in Super Smash Brothers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. It's, it's insane. Yeah. It's, it's insane because like uh, people have clips all over the internet now of just destroying as her. Like this support character is just going around shooting and destroying everybody. Yeah. So there's so. there's another support character, Ana, who her ultimate is she buffs someone, like she makes them do more damage, makes them take less damage, all this stuff. So you just yeah. use that ult on Mercy, and then Mercy uses her ult and flies around just shoots everyone mm. with no freaking reload. Yeah, so you just have a pistol like, <laughs> and it's, just like yeah. it's insane. It's crazy. So mm. she's broken now. Yes, yeah. okay. absolutely. Right. Even uh, Jeff... I don't know, it's not Kaplan, but... Uh, um, Jeff Blizzard dude Blizzard dude okay. uh, came up to the forums and was like hey yeah sorry like, <laughs> yeah, oops sorry. Yeah. sorry for breaking we didn't here. really intend for this to happen <laughs> so we're gonna do some changes yep mm-hmm. yeah they're also changing D.Va they're like, giving her a rocket ability like rocket barrage ability yep it's kinda cool changing her giving her a whole new ability yep so, yeah. yeah I'm excited for that big cool. changes mm-hmm. cool yep. y'all excited yeah man yeah I, I she's my second most played character mm-hmm. Mercy who's your first so, uh Reinhardt Reinhardt's your first? I think so. Huh. Because everybody, nobody wants to play a tank. Yeah. I want it to be McCree. But oh, actually, no, Mercy's my first, yeah, my most played hero. That's right. Reinhardt, I have like 80 hours in, and then Mercy, I have like 20, and she's my second, I yeah. think. <laughs> so. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So, Final Fantasy 15. Oh. Hey. Uh. I don't like this game anymore. I never liked it in the first place. Why not? Because I spent a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of time today. Yeah. Compiling oh, okay. the forty thousand <laughs> new updates this yep. stupid games get. Yeah, yep. it's getting a lot. All right, let's get into it. So, Final Fantasy fifteen Windows Edition. Mm-hmm. Hey, yes. that's stupid. I'm so freaking what excited. The subtitle. Oh yeah, that's oh, stupid. Well, yeah. That's dumb. <laughs> so it's coming to PC in early 2018. It includes content contained in free updates to the console versions, as well as paid downloadable content originally available through the season pass. Players can also explore the world of EOS. Eos? Yeah. Eos? Eos, Eos? Sure. okay. Yeah. Uh, through Noctis's eyes in an all-new first-person mode. Whoa. Yeah. It's pretty much getting the GTA V treatment when it goes on PC against first-person. Ooh. It's interesting. I probably won't use it. No. But. So it's uh, compatible with native 4K, mm-hmm. resolution, and HDR10. Okay. Graphical cool. options can also be configured up to support up to 8K. So it's very pretty. Yes, very, very pretty. pretty. Did you guys see um how how big it is in terms of storage? Oh no, no. One hundred and seventy gigabytes. Oh, what? <laughs> one hundred and seventy gigs. Wow, that is. It's probably because it can go up to eight K. That probably yeah. takes up so much freaking storage. Oh my god, that's more than the Witcher three and World of Warcraft combined on my computer. Jeez, 
<laughs> Dude, I only have like 200 free on my yeah, computer. I don't have right enough now. room for that. I don't have enough room. So you're not getting it? <laughs> I need a bigger hard drive. <laughs> yeah. This is an investment. Oh my. Ooh. That's cool. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. And by cool, I mean, what the? It better, so, it better run well if it takes another yeah, room. I, I'd hope so. So um, this PC version will also get mod support. Oh, um, that's Square awesome. Enix was worried about modding, but the final decision was to give people the ability to mod the game in whatever way they see fit. Oh my yes. god, that's freaking mm-hmm. amazing. Yeah. So the Final Fantasy 15 director says nude mods are up to the moral sense of the community. So Of course he would comment on that. Yeah, yeah that's great. Because, you know. Imagine like new weapons modded yeah. in though. Yeah. Dude, imagine like Cloud. Thomas the Tank Engine. I hope Cloud's in there. Your friends. <laughs> 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 oh my god can we drive thomas the tank engine please can someone <laughs> That's your make new that car. happen can all the music plays happen? you know what yeah like the theme song plays yeah man yeah. what you mean the the copyright and like uh <laughs> it's a mod you stand by me <laughs> no i mean like, the oh, like thomas the, the tank the, engine yeah, oh <laughs> not, not the final fantasy 15 theme song <laughs> those would be pretty funny what about when you get the flying car do you just get a flying thomas I, I hope someone makes a mod right doesn't explain what the mod is but when you get it all it does is change the final image in that picture. Oh, uh, yeah. And just make it like something ridiculous. Just make it like a meme or like a dick butt or something. <laughs> so I, just, I want that so bad. I want Goatsy to uh, be that picture. Ew. Mm. Call you it. stand. <laughs> dick butt. <laughs> okay, we'll have Thanks that. for playing. So. Uh. <laughs> final Fantasy 15 Pocket Edition. Oh, yeah. Announced for iOS, Android, and Windows 10 what? devices. What is this? This is um, yeah, Final Fantasy 15 so. coming to iOS. Yeah, it's like a cheap Android and slash. Windows. 10. Oh, okay. It's not like the actual game. I mean, kinda it is. Um, yeah. it's coming this autumn, and I'm quoting here: mm-hmm. an all new adventure that retells the beloved story of Final Fantasy 15. The mobile game features the main characters and story of the console version with an adorable art style and casual touch controls optimized for mobile devices. Huh. The main story is told across 10 episodes, with all 10 eps, episodes yeah. being available at launch, and the first episode is downloadable for free. Huh. Hey. So, so it's probably like $80. So it's like yeah. a mini condensed version of the story. Yes. Cool. I, I, don't, I don't know if I'll get the same feels. Yeah, yeah. Probably, chibi yeah Final yeah. Fantasy. It'll probably just be like a little fun thing to... Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. cool, though. So you know what else Final Fantasy XV is doing? Nope. They're collaborating with Assassin's Creed oh, yeah. Origins. Yep. What? Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> you haven't seen this? No. So the this collaboration kicks off on August thirtieth, which is coming up pretty soon. Like fucking with this, five days. That's such a weird game to collab with. Yeah, I know. So finally, Final Fantasy fifteen players who have obtained the Dream Egg from the Moogle Chocobo Carnival event yeah. will be gifted a very familiar Assassin's Creed outfit for Noctis. Um, on August thirty first, free Assassin's Festival DLC will be released for the game. Uh, the town of Lestalum, am I saying that? Lestalum. Right? Lestalum, yeah. Lestalum, okay. Um, will transform itself for the event with signs and banners signaling the the arrival of the festival and new activities will be available for players to participate in. Huh. Um, the Assassin's Festival will have some additional themed items and features including another outfit from Assassin's Creed and abilities that enable Noctis to explore more like an assassin and use some of the assassin's more well-known abilities. Can he dive off towers and land in haystacks? Um, I don't know, but he, he, <laughs> you can like there's a there's like footage of it, huh. and you can do like all the Assassin's Creed like climbing stuff. Yeah, and... that's awesome. It's so weird. Yeah, I mean, very yeah, it's strange. It's weird, Why? But it's all, <laughs> yeah, is, is, this, is Assassin's Creed getting into any Final Fantasy themed things? I don't things? think so. No. Can huh. you imagine like new one? You just have a giant like Sephiroth sword. <laughs> I, I guess like in all the trailers for the new Assassin's Creed and uh-huh. Final Fantasy 15, because yeah. this has been like in collaboration for the past three years. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. I guess there's like little Easter eggs in each of the trailers, huh. but no one's noticed. I That's know. cool. <laughs> Who would look for that? Uh, yeah, like, right? It's Ezio. <laughs> hey. Cool that time. This yeah. I mean, I'll run around as Ezio all the Tory killing freaking uh, Adam and toises and like yeah, yeah <laughs> robots and stuff. Whatever. That's cool. Yeah. That's what I always wanted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, sure. and the last bit of Final Fantasy 15 news. So, there, mm-hmm. I guess this is like a Twitch stream on like at Gamescom or something. And like, I guess like they're asked about uh, like 
other so, versions. Yeah. And they're like, well, we can't say anything, but uh, there's going to be, because uh, they're streaming on Twitch. They're like, oh, it's something that rhymes with Twitch. If you catch my drift, uh, the Switch. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> so, how, how are they going <laughs> to do Final Fantasy 15 on a Switch? Just like they do. It's going to be hilarious because it's probably going to be the Pocket Edition. I mean, that'd be pretty oh, funny. Man, that'd, that'd be, be pretty ridiculous. hilarious. <laughs> The Switch could run it though. It most definitely. It could yeah. run. It could run the console version. Yeah, you think? I mean, I think it could run Breath of the Wild and oh, yeah. Xenoblade. Fair enough. Chronicles yeah. I think Two. It could. Hey, we don't know. That game could be a side scroller. Oh yeah, we don't puzzle. know. <laughs> <laughs> puzzle adventure. I don't think you have much faith in this little 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 rink-a-dink device. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I want a Switch. I'm just never gonna get one because I can't right. physically get one. <laughs> right. I want one, I want one by the end of the year, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. I mean it's gonna be like another like if you don't get it before holiday season, yeah. that's gonna be really tough. Yeah. Because when Odyssey comes out. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be rough. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be rough. Oh. rough. Next. So Mass Effect Andromeda. Oh boy. Will receive no further updates. Yeah. <laughs> well, Via the game's website. So, the last update, 1.10, was the final update for Mass Effect Andromeda. There's no planned future patches for single-player or in-game story content. In wow. the coming weeks, the multiplayer team will provide details of the ongoing support and upcoming content, including new multiplayer missions, character kits, and what's in store for N7 Day, which well, is November 7th. Wow, well, they, they really dropped that game, huh? Yeah. Damn. That's sad. They, I remember seeing like an, sucks. an interview yeah. where like executive was like, "quote, like, I think that game got a lot more flack than it deserved." Like, <laughs> it's just like we're dropping all support for it. <laughs> yeah. It's like damn. I mean, maybe you know, after reading that that article mm. about it, like the Kotaku one, yeah, yeah, really put things into perspective of just like fuck. Yeah, that it, game just that game was doomed to fail mm-hmm. as soon as it started, which is a shame. Yeah, yeah it is. Shame. Yeah. I love Mass Effect. Yeah, and, me too. Now it's a franchise that isn't going to see a lot of love mm-hmm. for a while. Oh well. Whatever. Hopefully, it like remains dormant for like a long time. Yeah. And yeah. Like it comes back this, like like, so. like a phoenix. Yep. Uh, either that. Either that, or we just need another strong sci-fi RPG to take its place. Uh, is there anything like that now? Mm, Can't not, wait for. Uh, not that I can think of. That um, what's that like Iron Man game <laughs> coming out? Oh, oh yeah. Um, the game is not Iron Man, but it is exactly Iron yeah. Man. Yeah. I, it's that new IP. Uh, yeah. D- mm. I can't remember the name. Fact check. I really want to play it. <laughs> yeah, it looked good. It looked super good. What do I fact check? Iron, uh, Iron not Man. New <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it by Bioware or is it by some other company? I don't, I don't know. know. Looking up Iron Man games is not a good idea. <laughs> it was at E3, right? Yeah. Yeah. E3. E3, Xbox One, new IP. That's all you got to say. That's all you got to say. Anthem. 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 There it is. Yeah, there it is. That looked super it legit. About Bioware's Anthem it was looks like Iron Bioware. Man meets Destiny meets... Hold on, it's meets God what? of War. Mass Effect meets God Attack of War. Attack on Titan. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't remember Dude, Attack on Titan. I'm going... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks cool, though. I want yeah. it. Mm-hmm. It's going to be banging. Hopefully. It's probably not. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> well, Bioware's... I have faith in Bioware. <laughs> um, like, if this was, like, EA... Just or Ubisoft. Uh, if this is Ubisoft making it, I'd yeah. be like, all right. I'm oh, kinda, there's going to be towers to climb and explore maps. This one's probably no. going to be like, here's two suits. You can get missiles or a flamethrower. The rest are $60. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna, they're going to warframe it up and be like, you want this suit? You got to farm like mm-hmm. 40 hours of gameplay to get it. Mm-hmm. Oh, can I, Can I? Uh, before we go into the next news story, can I bring up Dauntless? Just for a, a quick Sure. Minute? So apparently, something I didn't know about Dauntless, uh, when it gets released, it's going to be free to play. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Because right now, it costs $80 to get into the alpha and yeah. 40 to get into the beta. But when it releases, it's going to be free. I'll wait. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah wait. I'll wait too. Oh, but, then so, I will definitely play that game. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much like Monster Hunter, but not as expensive. But people are saying that that's fine because it's free. Yeah. But what free. about the microtransactions? I think they're cosmetic. Or think probably they're cosmetic. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I heard that the monsters get like way cooler and harder and like bigger as you get farther on. As long so. as they get like bigger, because yeah. they're way too small and they're kind of yeah. like yeah, it's like the equivalent of like wrestling my cat or something. Yeah, it's not it, my it's, cat. That's cool. Kind of lame. But yeah, I, just <laughs> I wanna, do that. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to bring that up. 
Looks cool. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool oh, for a free play game. Shit. Yeah. So, arms. Oh. Arms. Oh. There's, there's oh. one reason. Yep. There's only one reason why I'm mentioning the story. It would have okay. been on the cutting room floor. Yep. But I'll get to that. So, Lollipop, the new playable character for ARMS, was revealed. I don't like her. So, it's coming free with the 3.0 update in September. The character and the map are both going to be, like, candy-themed. There was, like, a trailer release. Mm -hmm. Um, Lola is, like, a clown, as you can see. Yep. And uh, she has the ability to inflate herself like a balloon. So... Interesting. Go to the next picture. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm afraid. This is the reason why... I uh, brought it up. <laughs> so someone drew this art of Lola inflating, <laughs> and you have Ninjara <laughs> being Goku, right? <laughs> and then I think that Springman being Gohan. Yeah. <laughs> so tell your mother I love her. <laughs> <laughs> Goku. <laughs> so yeah. What did you cool. call? Get hype. What's his for name? For arms, the ninja dude. I think that's Ninjara. All right. I was like, I thought, I thought you said Ninjago. Ninjago. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> the Lego series. <laughs> Bionicle. I'm glad this didn't hit the cutting roof. <laughs> it almost did. It almost did. So, Dragon Ball Fighters. Let's talk yes. about this game even fucking more. Please. Let's do it. Are you sick of it yet? Just look at the screenshot. It looks like you're watching freaking DBZ. It's so good. So, we got a bunch of Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Fighters news. So yeah. we had a, uh, we had one we had a first trailer. It mm-hmm. showed off Androids eighteen and seventeen. Yeah. Android sixteen. Yep. Piccolo, Krillin, mm-hmm. and the weird story mode. Yep. With like, with like. Z- like Vegeta, like face down the ground. Yeah. yeah. And it showed like five different colored Goku. Yeah. yeah. It was weird. Um. So as as you can see in the pictures, Android eighteen and seventeen have this like combo attack. Yeah. But. If you have, if you're playing 18, right, and you have Krillin on your team, yep, they, uh, Krillin takes the place of uh, oh, 17. Oh, really? And, mm-hmm. At least in huh. this specific attack. I didn't know that. That's really yeah. cool. So, Man. that's awesome. I've yeah. been watching gameplay of Games Time. Yeah. Like all the new characters and everything. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's so good. Yeah. Choice. Man. Yo, 16 looks great. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, 16 looks. His looks his great. friggin' uh, level like three super mm-hmm. is the uh, explosion that he tried to kill Cell with. Yes, yeah. uh, but it's self destruct. Yeah. But it's a. The self destruct yeah. move. So if you uh if you, you hit it, you you go down to one HP. Yep. It's so good. I know. It looks brilliant. It's, um, it looks awesome. But you can only use it once in the fight. You yeah. Can't use it again and if you miss it. it, you can't use it. Yep. I believe. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't you don't die if you miss it. Like you don't mm-hmm. explode. Yeah. But man, it looks so dope. It oh. does. So there was a second trailer that mm-hmm. showed off Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Vegeta. Yep. And they're like ultimates, and basically like, Goku does this like. Basically, what he did versus a uh, hit he in the too. Universe Six tournament, mm-hmm. where he does the uh, Kaioken uh, Kamehameha, and he like ju- like flies through it and just like punches through yep. you, like Dragon Ball King Piccolo style. Looks awesome. And Vegeta, Vegeta. one punches. Oh, Vegeta! <laughs> Vegeta's just a monster. He just has the one punch. Yeah. You, you doing Wait. the Kamehameha, yeah, bro? Hand looks kind of weird. <laughs> I think it's just the I don't know. Don't worry about it. His hands reversed. I don't know. That's right. I, I think because of the blue wristbands, it's yeah, like an optical yeah. illusion. Yeah, it's confusing you. I think you're jaded. <laughs> I know. I know. Last week, I said I didn't like that they were getting added another version of uh, Goku and Vegeta, but I like how they play. Mm. It looks like they play really differently, so I'm, I'm down for that. I agree. You yeah. know what else was announced? What the Dragon Ball Fighters Collector's Edition? Oh mm-hmm. man! Oh yeah! So. <laughs> Uh, it's 140 bucks. <laughs> it's a lot of money. So it comes with a copy of the game. I hope you know. Yep. Um, it comes with a seven-inch statue <laughs> of who? Of Goku nice. with exclusive manga dimension coloring. So this is a statue that already exists, is except it? it doesn't have the Dragon Ball Fighters like logo on it. Oh, but like it has like different coloring. Huh. Interesting. I think it's like fifty dollars or something. Okay. Oh. So that plus the game's 110. Yeah. So it has an exclusive steel book, mm-hmm. three art boards. Yep. And a collector's, with a Z at the end, box to house all the items listed above. That's the one thing I don't like. Yeah, the box. <laughs> you well, got a box. This is a, yeah, yes! How plain it is. <laughs> yeah, it's just a black box with a logo on it. Yeah. Although, like, I think it's because, like, if you look at the box art, like, obviously that's not the final box art. I think that's just, like, a placeholder, placeholder art for both the box and the box art. I pre-ordered it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you did? You're yeah. getting this? 
I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth I'm the money. going in. Yeah. I want the statue. I can't wait. I to... like steel books. Yeah. Ten hours I'm putting in. <laughs> don't say that. It's gonna it's it. happen. Uh, no, you just come over here and play it a bunch. Yeah. On your on my Xbox One. Yeah. Do you think that this game is gonna be sixty dollars? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why would easily? Yeah. Because some fighting be. games don't release at full price. Oh uh, no, this one's gonna be full. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. I mean, everyone will pay full price for oh. it. As, oh yeah, as, I'll give them course. seventy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm definitely getting this. Um, yeah, I, I'm still like, I'm really torn on what to get it on. Yeah, PS4 or PC. I want it on decisions, PC because decisions. I play on PC and because mods, obviously. But um, everyone's gonna be on PS4. Still That's still where everyone's want. gonna actually play the game. Still still want. He'll get it on PC. Yeah, you think? Yeah, man, I'm so torn. Mm-hmm. Only thing that will make this more beautiful is if they're like cross platform play, and then Sony's that'd gonna be, be like, amazing. nah, nah, be. <laughs> nah be, that's too fun. That'd be so cool though. So, mm-hmm. let's talk about the beta a little bit. So, uh, a little bit. Xbox One kind of mm-hmm. got mm-hmm. the Xbox Xbox One users kind of got screwed. So, to participate, you have to install the Xbox Insider Hub mm-hmm. app from the store, and then launch it. And then you gotta like press A to like confirm that you're in. And then uh, if you've been selected to participate, you'll see an announcement in the Xbox Insider Hub's announcement feed. So basically, um, if you're already like a member mm-hmm. of the of the uh, feed. of this Xbox Insider Hub, yeah, and like you don't even want to participate, you might be selected. Oh, oh. that's so that like horrible. narrows the pool for people who like yeah would want. That's awful. That's terrible. Oh, that's, a bummer. <laughs> that's the worst. Yeah, yeah, why would they do that? That's a shame. So I I did the I installed it uh-huh. and I also signed up for the PS4. I was gonna <laughs> ask, that you probably signed up for the PS4 yeah. one too. So for the PS4 users, you have to just apply apply for it by uh, signing up with your name and email address. And if you're selected, you'll be notified via email. Like, why is this so, so hard? simple? So that's, simple. How, that's how every beta works. Yeah, that's how every beta works. Why Not for it? Xbox One. Uh, Xbox exclusive. And Microsoft has like the most back like ass backwards way of doing everything. Yeah, um, I hate it. Uh, so well, like P- Windows 10 Store and all yeah, that stuff. I agree. Microsoft I agree. accounts. So the beta right. schedule, at least for the PS4, mm-hmm. is from September 16th to 17th. So the, it has a first session. I think this is a uh, Eastern Standard Times. I didn't mm-hmm. check. Yep. So it's a uh, first session is 2 a.m. 5 a.m. It's like a three-hour sesh. 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. Eastern. Saturday. Second sesh. Okay. Same day. 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Third sesh, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. That's gonna be that's all one. Saturday. Yep, and then on Sunday it's 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. So there's three on Saturday and one on Sunday. Dude, I'm okay. not gonna be able to play this. I know. Sucks to suck. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna cancel all my plans. Like... <laughs> I mean, if I get accepted, but your, I can, but but your I'm grandmother not is do. sick. You have to see her. <laughs> but <laughs> Dragon Ball yeah. Fighter. I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> You know the worst part about fighting game betas? What? All the professional fighting game players just get in automatically. So when you go online to fight people, it's like, well, time to lose. <laughs> yeah, there's like VIP codes. Yeah. I assume yep. that's for press and yeah. important people. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to play it, though. I'll get my ass kicked. Yeah. It. Like, I've been, when I watch uh, Max, Maximilian on YouTube, he just he got invited to Namkai Band. Uh, Band I can't Nam- say the name. Bandai Namco. Bandai Namco. And they were just like, yo, play our game in 4K and stream it. It's like, damn, I wish. I Have you watched his videos in 4K? I watched, of like gameplay of, I watched some of, of them. Fighters? I've seen some. It's so it's crisp. so smooth. Uh, at first, like, I remember looking at that game with the E3 build. And, you know, obviously I was in love with it. There was something visually about it that I didn't, it just wasn't as polished mm-hmm. as I would have liked. And I feel like they fit. I don't know what they did. I'm not an artist, so I can't really describe what I was seeing. But whatever they did, like, then they just approved on so much yeah, now. And it's it just, it's oh, man, so good. I love looking at it. Yeah. It looks good. Also, something mm-hmm. interesting about the game. You know how, like, everyone has those, like, like, uh, it's, like, classic, like, fighting game outfits. Like, different. Different recolors. Like, right? different yeah. recolors, yeah. right? Yeah. Android 18 has two different outfits. I noticed that. So, I hope everyone has at least another outfit. Yeah. Besides sure the recolors. They They'll probably put more outfits on. It's just not a priority right yeah. now. I, yeah. I know. I'm just saying. Yeah. It's, it would be weird to just have Android 18 have two outfits. Mm-hmm. All I'm saying is costume DLC. Oh, yeah. I'm sold. Right. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. So, Secret of Mana. Oh, but yeah. There's a random ass announcement for a 3D yeah, remake. No, seriously. Yeah. For PS4, Vita, and Steam. Releasing February 15th, 2018. 
and not the Switch. Cool. <laughs> That's cool. I know you don't like Secret of Mana, right? You think it's I mean, like overhyped. I've, I've never, never played Secret of Mana. Yeah. I remember, uh, what was it? A few weeks ago, when we were talking about the list of SNES games, you were well, like, yeah. it sucks. No, because I'd rather have <laughs> Chrono Trigger oh, than, yeah, yeah, than yeah. Secret of Mana. Right. Definitely. Um, this is cool, though. Yeah. I like, I don't, Secret of Mana is like a weird game. Because mm-hmm. I think there's like a lot of weird design issues with that's, it that I don't really like. The reason I never played it is I don't like the gameplay. Oh, really? I don't yeah. like you do because you have to like control multiple characters at once. You don't have to. No, uh, unless you play multiplayer. Well, I think they're on AI, and then you. Well, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Um, but I didn't like how like only one person could cast a spell at a time. You had to yep. wait for that animation to end, and mm-hmm. then do the next one. And yeah. Plus, the story always felt kind of weak to it. But, but having um, it modernized, I'll play it. Yeah, I'd play it. We could do the first ever three person looks sick <laughs> yeah we do it yeah yeah that is three player co-op isn't it uh, yeah yes we could, yeah, we could so. actually do that hell yeah <laughs> yeah all right cool i want chrono trigger what's next i mean there's some details <laughs> with, the, with the remake forget it tell me so, about it. Tell so me about it. it's gonna be a full remake with full voice though square enix's english language press release simply states that the game will have voiceovers cool um, there's going to be new musical arrangements, other elements like upgraded gameplay, and local multiplayer on all platforms. Awesome. That's cool. Yeah, that's really sweet. I do I do find it weird that, um, uh, what do you call it? So the, in Japan, there's like a collection of like all the Secret Mana games yep. for the Switch, mm-hmm. but this isn't coming to the Switch. Oh, it isn't? No. Uh, yeah, that is weird. Oh, this like, is... okay. This sounds like something <laughs> that would be ideal for Switch. Especially since it's like a remake of a Super Nintendo yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is Nintendo like nah we'll pass <laughs> I don't know it's weird very developers strange. are weird maybe they'll eventually get an app sort that'd be cool oh. I, I who cares anyway who cares Brett Favre I care Brett Favre you can't say that only we can say that <laughs> that's our word <laughs> so Xbox had a conference not really conference at Gamescom mm-hmm. it's like two hours long yep I didn't watch it. And they were like four hundred ninety nine ninety nine. Yes. Yeah. U.S. dollars. Yep. <laughs> um. Basically, it was a lot of stuff that was just from E3. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was like world premiere CGI trailer. It's like okay. Um. I I have a couple tidbits from this. Mm-hmm. Some like things of note. So global pre-orders for Xbox One X mm-hmm. started. Um. You know, the day of the conference. Yeah. Know? We got a new game announcement. What is it? Um, Jurassic World Evolution. Yes, oh, oh yeah, no, okay. this game actually looks good. Build your oh, own really? Jurassic Park coming twenty eighteen. Yeah. It's freaking roller coaster tycoon, except you build a dinosaur park. Whoa! And it's coming to <laughs> Xbox One, PC, and PS4. Damn, my roommate would love that. It's mm-hmm. pretty good. Damn, In I'd, the summer. Like to, I'd make my own Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah. Like I hope it's half as good as School Tycoon. I never played School Tycoon. It was amazing. I played a lot of tycoons. I remember that, I we we gotta play that, dude. Can we? <laughs> yeah, I can't. I, I have to run it. Uh, I'll bring the disc. Hopefully Please do. That game's amazing. You can make like a campus full of pizza parlors, and then a tornado comes <laughs> and just fucked your school up. <laughs> and it just throws students. Ah! Just murder everyone. But hey, whatever. You got good college tuition. Am I right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, what are you up to? <laughs> um, you know, just type in the boss, you know, text in a... So, uh, yeah, so other highlights. Um, We have ReCore Definitive Edition. ReCore? I don't know what that is. Coming August 29th. So this was leaked. ReCore sounds like... ReCore um... was originally for the Xbox One. It was. I think it has the um, Mega Man Mighty Number no. 9 guy oh. that no one likes. Shadira that no, guy. No. Dude, dude, bro. Yeah. Yeah, big name guy. That everyone Asian knows guy. his name. That I don't remember. <laughs> everyone doesn't like him anymore. Yeah, he, I know. He likes to steal money from Kickstarter. Out. Type just type um Mighty Number no. Nine director. Masahiro Yasuma. Ooh, name Maybe. the thing of someone else. <laughs> I I thought like uh, the guy from Mighty Number no. Nine had to deal with it. Yeah. Type on. Mighty Number no. Nine. Person natural. Mighty yeah. number nine. You, uh, you know the guy I'm thinking. Oh, Niall Tomita. No. Oh, Keiji Inafune. Yeah, the Inafune, that guy. Duh. Now, now go to Wikipedia and see if he has anything to do with Recore. <laughs> with Recore? Okay, yeah. I'll look. Give me one All second. Right. Should be at... 
Am I right? Yeah, Recor. Yep. All right. He's the executive producer. I knew it. So yeah, that's getting a re-release or cool. a not re-release, um, a definitive edition with all the DLC and stuff. Mm-hmm. And no one really cares. Nope. Wow. <laughs> So on no Xbox one, one really cares. On Xbox One, the OS, it's like kind of like it's like gray and black. Oh. Well, a light mode is coming where it can be white instead of black. Whoa. That's nice. cool. And that's basically <laughs> the highlights for <laughs> Xbox at Gamecom. Gamescom. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Cool. Yep. Sweet. Mm-hmm. A lot of dead air this episode, guys. <laughs> Blake keeps Listen, his phone. a lot of dead air. <laughs> <laughs> what are you James doing Gunn. over there, Blake? What are you, what are you doing? Where, where are, you are our press passes for Games? Where Gunn? Where are they? Isn't that in Germany? Yeah. Oh, is it? It is in Germany. Yeah. <laughs> Let's Hell go, yeah. boys. <laughs> this is what I've been training for. Thank it. Thank it. <laughs> so another news story: Mario plus Rabbits is going to have a season pass. Right. Twenty dollars. I don't like season passes. Twenty dollars. Okay. So. It, here's the content, on mm-hmm. it, right? You ready yep. for this? On yep. launch, Lay it on me. you'll get eight exclusive steampunk weapons. Okay. Sure. Mario with guns, baby. <laughs> steampunk weapons. Yes. Sure. That That's what it says. Doesn't fit the world at all. Okay. Fall 2017. <laughs> We're going to have new solo challengers. Might oh, be geez. challenges. <laughs> yeah. I, I might type it wrong. Just like people that come to your house. Okay, and... squint. What does it say on the second line? <laughs> challenges. Damn. Challenges <laughs> plus co op maps. Cool. Co-op. And in 2018, in a new unexpected story content. Unex- it's Mario's not, dead. It's not really unexpected. They just announced it. Maybe like Kirby. Oh. Maybe Android 17 <laughs> <Yeah>. lives. <laughs> Maybe he lives. Mario versus Rabbids versus DBZ. <laughs> <laughs> I'd play it. Rabbids will win. <laughs> They're too kooky. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Next. <laughs> so. You're really on the ball. Oh, so, sorry. <laughs> so, y- y'all know that game, A Hat in Time? Oh, yeah, of course. I love this game. No, not you? No. Uh, I'm... You're not being sarcastic, right? I am being sarcastic. You are? I don't know this game. Come on, man. <laughs> it's like the 3D platformer. I don't know this game at all. It's been in development for a while. It was kickstarted. I don't know it. In time. No, I, I, don't I don't know it. It's, it's, it's been waiting. It's been in development for a long time. You play as the main character from Digimon? No. Well, <laughs> now none of this shit actually, means actually, anything because you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> no, Explain. So to the viewers. All right. Well, this game has been in development for a little bit now. Uh-huh. It, it was originally kickstarted. What is it called? A Hat in Time? A Hat in Time starring okay. Hat Kid. Okay. Hat All right? Kid, yeah. It, it's it, it's very like, um, it, it's a 3D um, platformer cl- okay. it's like collect-a-thon. A, the art okay. looks uh, very um, Harvest Moon. Hmm. It's like cell shaded, like Wind Waker. It's very uh, Banjo Kazooie, Mario oh, 64 y, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, that's... It really does. It looks kind of yeah. cool. Yep, yeah, fall release coming up. Oh, sorry. Oh, you know who the main oh, character actually looks like? Have you ever played uh, Dark Cloud? Looks like oh, the yeah, main yeah, character of yeah. Dark Cloud 2. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cute. This is actually a sequel? No. Oh, I've, I've never seen it. <laughs> yeah, oh, me either. Play. I don't know how you've never seen this. Dude, I've never seen it either. I, I, like, it doesn't like strike any chords with me or anything. It looks cool, though. It looks really pretty. I like the art. Well, I've been hyped for this game for a long ass time, mm-hmm. and it finally got a release date October fifth for PC, Xbox One, PS4, Rip Switch. Nice. Are we gonna play it? Maybe. We'll see. It looks cool. I'll... So the PC version will come equipped with the following modding support. Ready mm-hmm. for this? Yeah. Full level editor. Oh, nice. Full script access. Full Steam Workshop support. You can add a hat. You can add two hats. Oh yeah, the main <laughs> gimmick of this game is like hats. You can get different hats. You get different uh-huh. abilities and stuff. Yeah. So you can add a lot of hats. You can add new chapters. You can add new enemies. You can wow. make a game inside a game. You can make a game inside a game that's inside a game. Wow. You can do anything. <laughs> you can do anything. You can wow, do everything. That's awesome. One of the bullet points says everything. <laughs> so, that's really cool. <laughs> is this, um, is there like a story in it? Like Yeah. Something about like, like Italian guys. See the, see chef the big Italian guy. Yeah. He's like chef guy. Town. Yeah. They're like mafia. So, people. so it's like a silly story, like 3D yeah. platformer story. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. And you collect things. So, oh, okay. Grant so Kirk it's, Hope did so a couple tracks like, on it. Oh, wow. Like Banjo Kazooie type story, as opposed to like Paper Mario type story, right? Yes. Okay. I, I would say yes. That's um, awesome. I, I'm down. Yeah. The That's developers cool. Gears for Breakfast um, oh. will also release official mods. Like at launch, oh. um, you can have, uh, as seen in the picture. Um, Raz's psychic helmet from Psychonauts. Oh, 2. that's why I said it was like. Yeah, yeah that's nice. cool. Awesome. 
Um, this headpiece will give Hat Kid one of Raz's psychic abilities. Oh, Unspecified. Awesome. Yeah, that's cool. Um, you can blow up their brains. They're also going to do a lot of <laughs> like uh, collab mods with like other indie titles like Shovel Knight. Um, let's see. My Hyper name. Light Drive Drifter. Oh, nice. Drifter. One Shot. Um, Kiro Blaster. And more. That's awesome. Yeah. So You go a hat. Kid. All, all I the, want yeah. to buy this. For a Nintendo console, because <laughs> it's very Nintendo. <laughs> it is. It is very like, Nintendo. I guess like second, people like, are like, "When's it coming to Switch?" And they're like, "Yeah, we asked for a dev kit by Nintendo," and they're like, "Nah." So, wow. Wow. Damn. You know you like to pay for it, and they're like, "Nah." Shut down. Because like on the Wii U, they they let anything get released. Yeah. We'll play Meme Run one day. Yeah. <laughs> meme <laughs> Run. Yeah. I that. No, no, I played uh, the shooter. No, we played run. both. Oh, have we? Yeah. Um. They they just release they oh, they right. let anything through yeah. yeah and now they're very conservative on what gets through on the eShop yeah I don't know why they won't let this they would probably out. wait until this game was successful yeah. and then they'd yeah. be like all right come on they probably haven't seen it right like yeah for it been like it maybe. went through some sort of crack or something maybe I can't see like a you know wow. somebody I mean this this, being this like, game's yeah. been out and about for a long time now so I would definitely get on PC that mod support sounds too mm-hmm. good to pass up mm-hmm. sounds cool mm-hmm. cool so. What? I'm just breathing. That's why I thought. So, the <laughs> final news story of the day. Probably yeah. the biggest of the week, but we'll probably talk about it the least. All right. So, Half-Life 2, Episode 3. Uh, the plot was revealed Yeah. by former Valve writer Mark Laidlaw. This is sad news. So, there's going to be a link in the description. So, I read. I, I, tried, I tried to read this. Mm-hmm. I, and then I started skimming through it. And then I eventually stopped. Yeah. Um. Out, I've never played the Half Life games. Me neither. Um, I'm, a, I'm so a big fan. Out of context, like this what was written makes no sense. Oh, me, okay. me too. I was <laughs> like, I don't understand yeah, any I, of I this. Totally agree. Yeah, yeah. I I can't tell like if the entire thing written is in is the plot or like it eventually like. Oops, I hit my mic. I'm like the first paragraph is just like him introducing. Like the, the plot, plot, and then so, it goes so, into it. So the, I was very the, confused. The entire thing is in character. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. That explains yeah. why I, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. This is a big deal. Yeah. On Reddit, I think it's like, or he has like I looked today. 50, yeah, we looked up today, up actually. The, the comments, there were 12,000 comments yeah. when I looked. And like, that's, it blew up fast. I, I loved Half Life the series. I played them a long time ago mm-hmm. when I was yeah, like, in Half Life Three is like the this uh, is Ark of the Covenant. Okay. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anything leading up to this like Ark of the Covenant Half Life Three okay. thing, yeah, <laughs> is it's just like sacred to like the gaming community. Yeah. So any, anyone who doesn't know, I don't know who doesn't know at this point, but anyone who doesn't know, Half Life Two Episode Two. Was the last Half Life to come out? When did it come out? What? When did? What year? I think it was fourteen years ago. I think. I think it was actually fourteen years ago or thirteen years ago. Half Life Two episode. I could be. I could be wrong. But yeah, please check. Ten out of ten. Two thousand seven. Two thousand seven. So what is that? Ten years ago? It wasn't as long as I thought. Ten years ago. I mean, I'm sure like the original Half Life Two released a little before that. Yeah, yeah. So it was ten years ago. Um, the first Half Life was is like super old. Two thousand four. So thirteen, 13 years ago, yeah. Damn. So I played the original Half Life because when I got a Steam account, when I got my first computer, I got a Steam account, and I the first game I downloaded was Half Life because it was it like came with Steam. So I I played that and I played Half Life Two and Half Life Two Episode One, Episode Two, and then I was like, what now? Because then it's on a cliffhanger. I was like, what happened? And then I grew to learn that you don't get everything that you want in life. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. <laughs> never came That's out. Real. Oh, uh, man. But yeah, it's pretty much just they never continue the story. They just didn't. And no one knows why. And they haven't commented on why. They haven't commented on when, if it will ever come out, when it will ever come out. And now this happens. And I guess the lead storyboard designer. He's like uh, like, like a writer. Yeah, like the lead writer yeah. of the story. Um, Left, Valve. And now that he left Valve, he's pretty. He pretty much, he posted something on his website that was the story of Half Life Two Episode Three. Mark Laidlaw. Yep, Mark Laidlaw. I said that. He posted it on his website, but he gender swapped all the characters and renamed them, so okay. it wasn't breaking any copyright. 
mm-hmm. and then Reddit found it and was like, well, this is what it really is, and gender swapped them back and renamed them where they were supposed to be, oh. and then posted it. So it's like a page long, maybe like yeah. five paragraphs. It's not that long. Um, and it's just like the synopsis of what happens in Half-Life 2 Episode 3 leading into Half-Life 3. Are you satisfied? No. No? <laughs> I don't think anyone is. It just riled No, I up. meant like... Are are you happy you you got to read this? I mean, yeah, I guess. But knowing that it's not going to continue, like yeah. knowing that there's nothing left. It's is like the like, equivalent of like starving uh, piranhas in like a, like a tub. Mm-hmm. And they were like finally about to go to sleep for, for eternity. And, and then just like somebody just pricked their finger with a little blood, let it drop into the pool and then just. Yeah, so that's the Internet. It's just okay. ravenous yeah. piranhas who just want more. But now. imagine if tomorrow imagine. valve was like now nah, we're making it yeah imagine if like impossible because they have such an opportunity now that like everyone got this information of it's no it's never oh. gonna come out if valve is like oh now we're gonna say it's gonna i come don't out. think they care and i don't that's think they, a care problem. they don't i don't yeah. think they care either that's what it comes down to they right care about, they, just... they care about making that fast steam money mm-hmm. that's all they care about why do they even have game devs <laughs> apparently they don't hire new devs like why this to make guy, that a uh, Dota card game, whatever. This guy yeah, right. left 18 months ago, <laughs> yeah. right? And he yeah. was a writer. What was he doing? He was the lead Chilling. writer on the Half-Life series. Yeah. Chilling. So, like, what, did he, what was he doing? <laughs> Hope he get, kept getting paid. <laughs> yeah, doing, all right. Fuck yeah. all. He probably wrote, like, I don't know. <laughs> he wrote what was released. He wrote, car, like, greeting cards for people around the <laughs> office. Like, that was his job. Yeah. What story products were was Valve releasing for anything the in last, the past, like, the since last Portal thing, 2? That's it. That's yeah. the last thing that released is Portal 2. And that game came out what? Like Eight years ago? Years? No, not that long no, ago. No, way. Four, like five? 2012, I want to say? 11. Six years ago. Yeah, six six years, years ago. ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a long-ass time. Hmm. And then they released Dota 2 after that, and that's it. Valve is, like a, is a conundrum. Yeah, no one... Because I guess they're just... I know that, like, running Steam must be, like, yeah. a big task to handle, but, like... They're a game company. Wasn't Portal made by, like, university students? Yeah. It was the, the original Portal was. Yeah. It sounds just, like yeah. university students needs to make Half-Life 3, baby. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. Like, just outsource it to another company that you trust, Valve. I feel like every third party, <laughs> or, you know, every company would be like, no, I'm, I'm not I'm not doing yeah, it. I'm I not know. touching that because... It's such high expectations. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to be the guy who's responsible for ruining Half-Life 3. But honestly, Half-Life, it was a good story, but it's not a difficult story to continue. It's just like, hey, there's there's aliens, and you're this guy, then you work for this company, and there's this enemy company. Well, it's, it's like, got to blow people away. Yeah, it's got to be... That's true. It has to be a phenomenon. Yeah. 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 I just... what? Are, why do they still have game de- developers on their like team if not for the reason of like making a new game somehow right? i don't know or in the works like, or Va- i guess maybe they just use them to update their existing ones yeah like valve is a game development studio like that that it still is even though they run steam like you know they make left for dead and portal and half-life you know so like i don't know what happened even if they came out with a new ip that'd yeah. be interesting everyone would play it yeah they'd be like oh a valve game let's play you know did yeah. valve who made dota was it Valve? I think it was. No, I don't, I don't know. It was a mod, of course. Yeah. Dota but... two. Well, the original Dota was on Warcraft three. Yes. I don't know if yeah, like... it's Valve. Yeah, Valve was Valve. Dota two. Huh. Nine out of ten. It's I don't re- like it. It's really weird that Valve was able to pick up Dota two and not Blizzard. Oh yeah, right. Considering Blizzard it was probably a didn't want it. Mod. Yeah, I guess. And it's like I mean, hey, we're busy doing. They our got Heroes thing. of the Storm, so I guess. Yeah. Yeah, so who won? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm <laughs> yeah, <saying>. right. <laughs> it's their MOBA, so you know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm upset about Half Life. I always I'd, will be. I want to play Half Life. I'd play it on. It's, I have uh, Half Life Two for the Xbox. Yeah, oh, do you? Just play Half Life Two. Why? What's so bad with Half Life One? Um, if it's you, old. It, well, it is very old. But if you <laughs> want to play Half Life One, they have a remake on Steam called Black Mesa. Just play that instead. It's like just it's a, a graphical remake? update. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I've heard of that. Mm-hmm. Same story and everything. Yeah. And it's good. I probably like. I really want to just for, because as a gamer, I feel like I'm obligated to at this point. Mm-hmm. But I don't really want to play. It's like with anything. I don't want to play, read, or watch something that's not going to finish. That's why. Yeah. That's why I haven't started Firefly. <laughs> it ends in a freak. Oh, I love Firefly, but, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it ends in a cliffhanger Half Life. So just don't get your hopes up for an ending there. 
We still don't know who the G-Man is. Who is it? I don't Find know. out in 20 no years. Knows. No one knows. No one will he didn't even know. leak it. He didn't even tell us. Nope. No he one probably knows. knows. Mark. He's like the freaking Mark. weirdest we... guy Mark, in any game. Contact us. We'll let you on our show. <laughs> and you can tell us. Yeah. Do you imagine how big we would get if like... Oh, yeah. Like, Mark just comes views, on and baby. Like, <laughs> here's half life three, bitch. If, yo, if he came on, yo, Mark, Marky Mark, come on, come on. This uh, we'll give you nicknames. We'll yeah. buy you a pizza. No, I'll buy him shit. two pizzas. I don't care. My Shows phone's ringing as we speak. I'll buy him half a pizza because it's half life. Huh? We should just email and be like, hey, we have this podcast that no one knows about. You should totally come on it. <laughs> like, no, thank you for didn't nah, be response. <laughs> yeah, right. mm-hmm. that's a shame. Yeah, big shame. Oh well. You're devastated, Blake. Mm. <laughs> All right, that that's it for news. Yep. Yeah, I guess. Upcoming releases. We got a bunch. We got a bunch. Stop whispering over there. Hey, what she's the playing. Fuck? She's playing Professor Layton, and I'm telling her the puzzles are easy, and she can't solve them. Uh, having trouble over the. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so August 29th, we got Absolver. Absolver. Oh, Absolver. Absolver. <laughs> that's okay. A big, that's a big one. For PC, PlayStation 4, and Ooh. Xbox One. I'm not going to get it because I'll be horrible at it, but it'll be fun to watch. What is it? It's a martial arts based fighting game. So, like, you have to, like, dodge and. Like, dive get, like, kick? That's... Exactly like dive kick. Is it? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Not at all. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> it, it's like you actually have to use, like, like strategically placed, like, martial arts moves okay. and dodges. And, like, it's kind of slow paced. Like, chivalry? But, uh, no, but like a fighting a, game. It's, it's like a, a fighting game, like 1v1. Yeah, I know. But, yeah, like, yeah. It's more but I know, like, technical. in Chivalry, don't you have to, like, do specific kind of. You have, like, three different slots. Shut up. Yeah. The, the You're making a good comparison. <laughs> okay, yeah, this I'll is try. All, I mean, not the die. That was shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a joke. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is a, it's all hand to hand. Okay, like, dive kick. We got Ark Survival Evolved. Finally coming out. Oh, it's actually releasing. Yeah. For PC, Mac, Linux. PS4 and Xbox. The game that's been out for a year, you mean? It's been, I think it's been more than a year. <laughs> it's like an open beta or something? Or? It's early, early access. access. That's so what I mean. Pretty much same thing, yeah. yeah. But, you it's know. It's finally coming out? Early access games get released when they go into early access. So That's kind of how it works now. It's it's rare. I mean, I'm surprised it's coming out. Most early access games like that, like Open Sandbox, don't come out. I don't even think Rust came out. Remember that game? I did that, had that game. Did that game I ever that come game. out? I don't think so. I don't think it ever did. Yeah. Or, you know. The infamous, uh, oh my god, was zombie, that a total biscuit game? Zombie, uh, now he was like, fuck this. What game? The the first one that ever did the that's still not out. The zombie Daisy, oh, H, uh, Daisy, yeah, Daisy, yeah, yeah, that was yeah, it. it was Daisy. Yeah. I don't think that name still isn't out. The guy left. But. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. Yeah. H one Z one. I don't think is out yet. Yeah, I don't think it is either. Man, fuck these guys. Yeah, yeah. Finish is your play, games. Is Pub PUBG not out yet either? Is it? Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, I don't think it's actually released. Really? Yeah. Then, so. I think it's still early access. Oh, yeah, because it's coming out later this year. Yeah. On the Xbox One. But see what I'm saying about games in early access? Like, that game's definitely quote unquote released. You yeah, know? Early, early game access. No, that's, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Fuck it. Early so, access is there for a reason, you know? Yeah. Sorry. No, that's no, all good. Yeah, H1Z1 is still there. I mean, yeah, it's. Early access at this point means that we're still supporting this game. And once it's released, they just stop updating it. Yeah. That's pretty much pretty It's much like really reverse. Right. It's like how you do, how you support a game, but like in reverse. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's weird. So stupid. <laughs> like it's, it's very strange, the concept of, <clears throat> all right, you pay me to be in my beta to test my game. Yeah, right. It's like pay me to help me make money. That's yeah. pretty much what they're saying. <laughs> yep. Yep. So we got everybody's golf for PS4. Everybody's golf. <laughs> um, we got you cannot escape. Uh, Everything is golf. <laughs> we got we got Hello Neighbor. Hello Neighbor. PC oh yeah, that's been Xbox in for a while too. Mm-hmm. We got Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Yeah, Switch. It's a big one. We got Abduction for PS4. We got Pillars of Eternity Complete Edition for PS4 and Xbox that's One. Cool. All the DLC. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got Record Definitive Edition for PC and Xbox One. Yeah. We got Red Out for PC, PS4 and Red Xbox out. One. Red Out. We got the PC release of Sonic Mania. Yeah. Uh, we got Warriors All Stars for PS4 and PC. Wind Jammers for the Vita and PS4. And Yakuza Key 
Wami. Aren't those games big? Giyami. The Yakuza games. A lot of people like the PS4. Yakuza games, yeah. Very cinematic. I remember I tuned into a stream of one, and I was like, oh, he's in a cutscene. He's he's still in a cutscene. Is this Metal Gear? Like, it, it went <laughs> on for Gear. so yeah. long. It, it Those games are like a really, it's a mix of like GTA style open world and, and just movie. killing people and just, yeah, tons of cinematics. Yeah. Which is cool. Yeah. People like the games. Yeah. Killing mm-hmm. people with swords, dude. Guess cool. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. August 30th, we got Y7 or E7. Mm-hmm. What is, which one? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> y apostrophe S. Yeah. Well, I'm going to look For <laughs> PC. Yeah. How do you pronounce Y7? never know Y7. how to pronounce this game. What is it? How do you do it? Y-S-7. Yeah. Literally no, Y. No. The word seven. Oh, yeah. I, I got it here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, yep. The JRPG PSP yeah. looking. There's tons of these games. Yeah. What do you... Y7? It's Y's or E's. I don't know how you're supposed to say it. P or K. <laughs> <laughs> You want to know, it must be even more confusing in Japan because they don't have a letter for Y. <laughs> what? <laughs> Key, man. <laughs> oh, so how oh, do you... Okay. There's a game facts for this. All right. How do you pronounce oh. it? Uh, ease, like fleece. Okay. Oh, okay, ease. Ease. Yeah. Ease 7. Boom. King me. All right. August 31st, we got Life is Strange Before the Storm, Episode 1. For PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Cool. We'll probably watch someone play it. Yeah. And we got the PS4 and Xbox One port of Resident Evil Revelations. Cool. Cool. Mm-hmm. But Some good releases. Hard. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. It's good stuff. A lot of games. Yeah. yeah, man. Good shit. Yo, David. Yeah. What up? What'd you play this week? what I play this week? Tell me. Tell I me. I'm ready. Tell me. I play a lot. Of Overwatch and Hearthstone. Whoa! Shit. I also played uh, played Warhammer last night with Kobe. Yeah. That, I've never played Warhammer Total War before. So yeah, it's a Total War game. Yeah. It's Warhammer theme. That's an I, RTS. I, I liked it. Nice. It's just very slow paced. Yeah. It's like the pacing of Civilization. Yeah. Um, which is very slow. So, yeah, super slow game. But uh, it's fun. It's a great game. It was fun. I mean... It was definitely experience because I've never played a game like that before. Yeah. So that, that it was cool. It was really cool. Yeah. Fuck that game. <laughs> Kobe garbage. got wrecked. Kobe got wrecked. I wrecked so hard in that game. There were like four armies just like, nah, you're not going to live. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Just cornering me. <laughs> and I defeat one and then the other two just like, whoop, whoop. And like yep. swoop in and just. Old one eye over there wanted you dead. Freaking beast men tribe ass. Yep. Coming in and fucking me up. Minotaurs. I had to run across the country to, to meet David <laughs> so he could protect me. And as soon as he takes a town for me, I'm like, thanks. And you're like, all right, little one, be safe. <laughs> and I goes away. I'm like, all right, time to rebuild my kingdom. And then fucking one eye, ass beast douche, comes in with his minotaur army yep. and then just like steamrolls <laughs> Destroys you. <laughs> it's bullshit. It was fun, though. It creates stories. And I like that. Yeah, um, sure. I, <laughs> I played Black Desert. I jumped back into that game for yep, a bit. Yep. Um, I got carried to level 51. So they, that's cool. They want to do that to me too. And I streamed yeah. Final Fantasy instead. Yeah. I like Black Desert is really good looking game. It's just so boring. Yeah. It's, <laughs> even when I was asking, because our friends are like almost max level. Like yeah, they're, they're super really high into level. It. And they're so, yeah, they're super into it. Played all the time. And I asked them, I was like, so what do you do? between like running from place to place or between like um farming, farming like or... crafting or no yeah. like these nodes Oops. that you have to connect to new explore cities you just like auto run there yeah like what do you do and they're like oh we have another game up in the background or netflix and we just do that while we're waiting i was like that doesn't sound like a fun game <laughs> it sounds like work it's like, like yeah it sounds like a chore yeah exactly. and i was like nah not about that once you told me like you're kind of done fighting yeah. at a certain point because yep. the xp isn't worth it and yeah. I, I, I don't know the point. You yeah. don't farm for better gear because nope. there isn't any. Yep. You, you, there's no things don't drop gear. Right? Nope. There's no instances. Nope. So there's no like bosses. Nope. No bosses. So what I, I'm just in a fish for like eight hours. So what people do in that game, they either play the economy or they PvP. That's all that they do at end game. Yeah. That's all there is to do. Because when they were leveling me all the way up to level 51, I had all these XP boosts on. And I was like, okay, every kill is going to be like 4% of a level. I was like, all right, we're killing groups of like five guys at a time. So I'm leveling super fast. As soon as I hit level 51, I was getting like 
0.8% of a level per kill, yeah. which is like, everyone was like, oh, it's still good. That's still good. And I was like, all oh. right, all right. So I was leveling kind of fast, not really. Apparently when you hit 56, yeah, you get an hour's worth of grinding with 300% EXP on, gets you 5% of a level. No, I'm not, I don't want it. Yeah. And I was like, nope, not it's, about it's it. a bummer because it really disheartened. Like, I don't want to play it now at all. Yeah. Like, I don't even want to get up to that point. Yeah. But, uh, as soon as I, I knew that, I was like, well, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. I can spend <laughs> my time, I don't know, playing good games. <laughs> yeah. I just, not the, good games. The combat sorry, is fun. Games. The combat's fun and it looks it pretty. But besides that, it, that takes way too long to level. It's I'm no not point. about yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, and apparently, there's no level cap. It just depends. If you grind more, you'll level again. Yeah. So like That's it's it. just it's whoever puts the most time to the game. Yeah, gets somebody stronger. said in chat was like nobody has hit level sixty three in the game. Yeah, no sixty two is the highest level because no one's grinded long enough to hit level sixty three. <laughs> That's not a way to do it. Nope. <laughs> Korean MMOs, so, man. Yeah. So I played that. Uh, what else did I play? I feel like I played a bunch more and I just can't remember. I played a little bit of Divinity: Original Sin with oh, Nicole. Yeah. Yep. Um. Yo, shout out! Check us out this week. Yeah, we're we gonna, play that. We're gonna play Twitch. that too. Yeah. Um, Whoa, yeah. I played a little more Dark Souls. I that's about it. I think that's okay. I think that's all I played. Blake, what have you played this week? What do you think I played this week? <laughs> Same fucking shit. <laughs> all right, I have no time for fucking anything. All right. This is where, this is where we ask. <laughs> no, I'll get to that. Oh. <laughs> okay. Played some Duel Links. Yep. You no. Know, yep. Played some Friday Thirteenth. Yep. It was cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Waiting for those updates. Yep. All I'm doing is in Dokkan. It's fucking grinding. And then, all right, so so mm-hmm. I'm, I'm yeah. grinding this event, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's only available to the, the 4th yeah. of September. Cool. And it's going to take forever to do. And then it's like, oh, here's another thing you got to grind. But it's only it's only available from today till the 28th. So get to it. I'm like, oh, but how am I going to grind that and grind <laughs> that? So I, and then after... Uh, the fourth is gonna be another thing. I'm like, I hate this game. <laughs> Game's like, I could get you there for money. <laughs> <laughs> Not even. It, it's t- blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah. That's speaking, how you get there. Speaking of money, what? Like, what about it? How much money have you spent <laughs> not, this not, week? Not a lot. On Dokkan and Duel Links combined. Um. And food. No. <laughs> okay, Sunday. Yeah. Um, I got a. Five dollars and thirty-four cent automatic charge of Club Penguin Island. That I have not gotten rid of yet because I'm determined to play it. Five dollars, but I haven't opened it stones. since the first day it came out. Um, you gotta stream it. <laughs> um, <laughs> so what was um what, what? was the, the penguin the money one swag. Uh, what was oh, yeah, the gold Swag penguin. Box. Swag Bucks. No, was it Swag Bucks? Swag it was Swag something. Like, it was something Remember like that. Remember in our playthrough that he was like all gold? He was on top of the mountain when we saw him. I remember him, him like, vividly. Oh, that rich penguin. <laughs> I don't remember. Man, I don't know. I don't remember his name. I don't remember. Swag Money something. Mm-hmm. Keep talking. Um. So <laughs> so they, they just put up this, uh, this new physical banner, right? And uh, it's basically a trap banner, right? There's, they like to put these filler... Um, summonable, summonable banners in between like the big ones, mm-hmm. so you can use all your stones. Yep. So of course that's what I did. Um. Wait, what are you, what are you looking up? He's looking up the gold penguin. What the hell's our video? I don't know. Just, just go to. Did Did you type keep tapping X? Yeah. Club penguin. Is it really not showing up? Wow, damn. Yeah, we really saw. <laughs> what the hell? Every other video is coming up, but ours. That's why we we don't put keywords good enough in our videos. Yeah. <laughs> I put. Club Penguin. <laughs> keep tapping X. No, try, try to keep playing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, there we are. I'll have to edit that. What the fuck? We showed up. Yeah, did keep tapping X isn't in the name of the, the title of the video, though. Keep talking. I gotta look his name up. <laughs> All right, so... Keep telling me that sweet money, Blake. So, this, this banner has two... Exclusive support units, yeah. which are very good, mm-hmm. uh, and there one there's one for a uh, hero team, one for a villain team. Yep. I was like, wow, oh, I gotta get them. And I had a bunch of stones from because they've been giving out a lot of stones lately. So mm-hmm. I, I do. I'm able to do three multis, and of course I get shit. So I'm yep, like, damn. Obviously. So I'm like, you know, <laughs> like 
if I get more stones, so I can get, <laughs> so I can get uh-huh. this, these fucking stupid units. Yeah. yeah. So e bucks. E bucks. Nothing that, to do with swag. Damn the, that that is one. That is, that that is glorious one expensive penguin looking <laughs> penguin. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. My favorite penguin. So, so recently, up until like a couple of days ago, they had like discounted. They discounted all the prices for the dragon stones. Mm-hmm. So instead of like forty five dollars for ninety one stones, uh-huh. it would be thirty two. Uh huh. That's a that's that's a lot. That's you know, a deal. That's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how many times I, did course, you spend thirty two dollars? No. So of course, uh-huh. when I was like, ah, I got I got to get some stones. Yeah. To, try again on this banner yeah the deals went away so i was like shit uh, so i had i had i had to fork up the 45 dollars <laughs> so so and plus tax so it's 48 14 yep mm-hmm. and that's it for the whole week yeah. that's still a lot i don't know it's still a ton of money man. <laughs> <I know. laughs> hey man i work five days a week you know that's good <laughs> i can spend my money however i want to you can't tell me anyway <laughs> you just go through it <laughs> Can I please have my paycheck in Dragonstone? <laughs> Are you like Listen. number one in the world in that game yet? No. Why not? He doesn't do competitive. Why? Why would you not do competitive with that? <laughs> there, there, there's there's not like a PvP mode or anything. Oh, there's, there's, no, there's no. no PvP mode. No. That's actually kind of surprising. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm, I'm, I found a solution mm-hmm. per what per se mm-hmm. of spending an exuberant amount of money. Yes. It's called crack cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, and, and invo- you can, you have to. I you know how I have a Android phone. Not I this. do know that. Yeah, this is iPhone. Mm-hmm, but yeah, my previous yeah. phone was an Android device. Yeah, yeah. So it involves that, but you know we'll see. We'll see. Is it I, Google? I can't give is it Google details. Play Rewards? No, don't worry about it. Because that's not a bad way to go, actually. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Kobe, what did you play this week? Um, I played. Uh, what did you play? Total War, Warhammer, yep. uh, Monster Hunter, a little yep. bit. Uh, I also played... Gee, I didn't play a lot this week, actually. Some Final Fantasy twelve you played now. Uh, yeah, I played Final Fantasy twelve today, so I started progressing in the story there. So I'm finally past the point when I was a kid. Oh, yeah, we played Cry of Fear. Oh, my God. <laughs> so we played Cry of Fear. Uh-huh. What's that? It's a free-to-play horror first-person shooter mm-hmm. on Steam. Yes. Mm-hmm. This Free game to play. <laughs> is beautiful. It's gorgeous. It is. I adore this game. Okay. Every facet. It is a game that, you know, is so ahead of its time <laughs> that when you log in, your friends, uh, it knows that its music and sound effects are so good that it just... Burn! <laughs> It wants you to hear. It really. It wants won't you let to you hear. not hear it until you get in and adjust. <laughs> it's it, that's great. That was like let me, my sounds first wonderful. impression. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me t- let me tell you. Um, I'll, I'll let you continue. But my first impression mm-hmm. of this game because we played it together. Yeah. Um, me and Nicole found this game a while ago. Um, we played it a little bit together. But we wanted to play it with Colby, and it's been a while since we played it, and we forgot that you can't just join a co-op lobby. You have to either port forward your freaking router. <laughs> By going into your router <laughs> settings, or you have to download a program called Hamachi to set up a private server. Nice. So that's what we did. Mm-hmm. And then even after we did that, it took us an hour and a half yeah. to get it set up. Well, this game is beyond, <laughs> you know, dedicated servers. <laughs> it wants you to make your own so you can craft your own experience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, you know? obviously. Um, and when you when you log in, and mm-hmm. when you join someone's server, yeah. and you want to play a co-op game, yeah. it says, you know what, you're so good at this game. Yeah. The first eight chapters of the story, nah, you don't even need it. Nah, we're gonna start you off in chapter nine, <laughs> okay? Out of 12. <laughs> I think you, you talked about this game. I, I might have, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, might have. Yeah. I might have talked about it. And you were, didn't you know how much it was? You know, we talked how great it was. It was great. Now I got to experience it, yeah. Uh, I loved yeah. how there are no bullets. Yeah, Ever. you barely have it's ammo. Challenging, you know. Yeah, you know, they there's sticks on the ground that you can hit people with. It's also great how like it gives you the option to dual wield. Yes, but that it's challenging the controls too because, boy, you'll never find out how to dual wield. <laughs> there's a button that says it, but who knows it's how deeper. to do it? It's deeper <laughs> than just clicking a button and dual wielding. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's it's complicated. 
in a good way. Mm-hmm. Esoteric, if you will. <laughs> and then when everyone runs out of ammo and there's a giant freaking zombie tree man chasing you, and then you have to smack him in the butt until he dies, uh-huh. it's good gameplay. Yeah, you have to use strategic teamwork <laughs> yes. when one person kites the tree man and hopes that they don't get kicked down and mm-hmm. insta-die. Yes, and then, you, die. and then you go through a forest and bodies fall from the trees and jump on you and kill you. Okay. <laughs> Let's not forget the best part. This isn't just a shooter. It's also a platformer. Oh yeah. When stairs, yeah. when you know a, a staircase is broken, you just gotta jump. You know, but you don't just run and jump, and you, you just get there. Mm-hmm. Nope. You, you have ju- to. You have to. <laughs> you have to s- run. You have to sprint while ho- by holding shift. Run forward by holding W, and then jump hit by hitting spacebar. Then hit control in the middle of the air by to crouch. And that is how you jump the stairs. Mm-hmm. Or hope you hit an invisible wall. Yep. When you jump, okay. And then crouch jump. Okay. Up there. <laughs> it okay, it doesn't jump. take you like fifteen minutes. <laughs> it doesn't take you forever until you hate this walls. game. Yeah, you get stuck in walls, man. It's, it's, Everything it's... screams at you. Yeah. But it's scary. Yeah. Oh, ah. Yeah. So creepy. Ah. There are guys uh, strapped to beds upside down, flying in the air. That yeah, that's at a you. great enemy type. It's I think very yeah. creative. Yeah, nice archetype. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? it, oh, it's good. There's one puzzle. Yes. In the co-op mission, uh, the puzzle was like the best part of that game because yeah. it wasn't. It wasn't even a compli- It wasn't complicated, but it wasn't like bad. It was just like oh yeah, point these. It's just showing in how direction. deep the mechanics are. <laughs> Wait, so um, so co-op starts you at. Um, chapter, chapter nine, nine, but single player gets you at chapter, chapter one. one through eight. Yeah, you, you, you talked about this game. Before. Yeah. yeah, but now I got. I to recall play it. voice acting is top notch. Oh, too. prime! Wow, really? Yeah. puts you in, in the help. fucking mode. help me, help over here, help, help, help over so here. So it has like Resident Evil style like yeah. commands. Yeah, yeah. So it's, you can do like get over here, help. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. all that stuff. There's no um, like ammo and items on the ground. Uh, there's no text to tell you they're there or anything. You just gotta like, look everywhere and you know yeah. pick you just it have up. Have to find the model of the clip and hit E on it. Nothing yeah. indicates in the that it's there. <laughs> Uh, you know, I love when you're like fighting, you know, when, when a chainsaw guy, you know, a guy with two chainsaws taped to his hand runs at you and, and kills you one hit because that's what would happen. Right. He just flails like mad and Uh it's like he ragdolls while running and if he just touches you, you die. Hmm. Okay. Good stuff. Nice. Good are you being sarcastic? This game is yeah, fucking this game's shit. Awful. Okay. This game it's is like awful. the worst fucking piece of ass garbage. This game has mostly positive reviews on yeah, Steam. It does. I have no idea how. This game is like poopy ass shit. It's, it, it's like garbaggio negative point five. If, if I need to make a new rating for this. It is it's so bad. It is like the like the the. I, fuck man how <laughs> how do you describe this but like a garbage dump landfill you know yes. landfill is the highest point in rhode island is it yeah it is yeah I know. it goes higher it goes yeah. higher than the landfill yeah. in terms of Touches trash that this game builds up <laughs> garbage you know how it ends we got one of the endings yeah. where it's just like steven or what's his name Steve. richard simon. Simon. simon simon don't know who that we is we stopped him hey. from being evil and he's like holding hands with a girl and then watch down the street and then like the credits roll no yeah, we, boss fight. You literally just walk down the street and like the game ends. Okay. And then we're like, "Who's Simon?" Yeah. <laughs> it makes I, no sense. I hate this game. <laughs> Sounds like an experience. It, it was is. fun. It was an experience. <laughs> yeah. This is definitely one of those bad games that's fun because it's oh, so yeah, bad. Oh yeah, it is. It's mm-hmm. definitely Especially one of those games. Especially when you let your teammates die. That's really cool. <laughs> Dude, it was great. When that corpse fell down and hit you and and, and killed you, it was the funniest thing. Oh my god. It Game's was bullshit. It's, yeah. It's absolutely horrible. And, oh yeah, also frequent disconnect. <laughs> yeah. Whenever we load up a new area, we were just like, oh, uh, <laughs> hoping one of us wouldn't disconnect. Like 60% of the time someone would disconnect. Yeah. Cry of fear, everyone. Cry of Lit. fear. Garbaggio. It's my first Garbaggio game. That reminds me of a game that's apparently good that I want to play with uh, any of you. It's called 20XX. 20XX? I play it. It's, it's Mega Man. Only co-op. I was about to say, Ooh, isn't that like the year Mega Man? Yep, it's Mega Man. Takes only place then. Mm-hmm. Yep. What? Is it a co-op Mega Man? Yeah, it's a legit co-op Dude, Mega Man. Dude, yeah. I'm a slut for this. A lot of people say it's really good, so. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm down. I want to play that. It's like meant for co-op. I don't think you can play it single player. It looks like you can. Yeah, it looks yeah. okay. I like Mega Man. I feel we're in the lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. Good. Who's who's whose turn is it? It's me. Oh no, David. Yeah. I what I what? 
If you could recommend anything oh. to anybody oh, God. out forgot, there in the world, about this. it could be anything. It could be a uh, children's playing card, you know, ch- trading card game. Excuse me. It mm-hmm. could be a uh, specific type of uh, food coloring dye. Mm. It could be uh, your favorite style of Persian rug or your favorite mm. shape. Mm-hmm. What would you recommend to the great people out there in the world? Tell us. Oh, God. Uh, anything at all I tell us I'm not stalling for you tell us it could, be, <laughs> it could be a favorite type of doorknob you know you have like uh-huh. the regular doorknobs mm-hmm. like there or you have like the handle yeah. doorknobs or maybe like the push ones yeah Nicole help them out maybe <laughs> <laughs> you're here get, usually we do guest priority yeah like I can think of things but they're lame like I really like well, that doesn't matter lame. recommend anything I, I really like um uh what that 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 one game that yeah I, like, that by the, the not the witness the other one talus principle yeah i really like that but that's like lame because i've already said i like that a lot uh <laughs> come on think uh, something that's something you like to eat. favorite like french fry flavor i don't know i, rec- I, I recommend oh, yeah. frisky fries yeah oh uh, yeah okay they're, well, they're i don't know elaborate. if they're anywhere but here but it, it's come where, they, where are they at that's, that was a lot of uh, i don't know what that is frisky flat fry <laughs> the frisky fry. Um, I'm um, talking to David. Yeah, the rest the uh, store is is it Province or Johnston? That, that I don't one, know. He's talking like, to you. Like yeah, Providence, I'm talking Johnston to you, Johnston not this yeah. weirdo. It's Johnston. Okay, um, but they have a food truck that they drive around with. Um, it's just they get a big Chinese food container, put French fries in it, and then they put like just stuff on the French fries. They have like what chicken kind of parm, stuff? chicken oh. parm, steak, uh, Philly cheese steak. Okay. Uh, they have a ton of different ones. They have dessert ones like s'mores. If I may interject, yeah. If you if like the surefire way to like find the truck, yeah, yeah. Go to Food Truck Friday at Roger Williams. Yeah, okay. mm-hmm. they have food trucks every they're Friday there. there. Uh, yeah, and they're always there. And the line is always a line. Really long, yeah. They it's have like good. a loaded baked potato one. Oh, um, yeah. They have so they have Fuck. a lot of different ones. It's really really good. Yeah. Oh. Do they chicken. accept card? Buffalo chicken. Yeah, they do. Okay. And they I'm give, in. They give you a little card too. Every eight you buy there, you get a free one. Do they oh. accept dragon stones? <laughs> that's all. That's all the currency I have. The frisky fries do it. It's really good. Mm-hmm. I'll check it out. You should eventually. Delicious. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us yeah. on this week's episode of the Keep Tapping Nets podcast. Uh, make sure you check us out on all our social medias on YouTube, SoundCloud, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. Yeah. At Keep yeah. Tapping Nets. No G. Keep Tapping Nets. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. No, no G. Woo! Woo! I was I wasn't going for it. Uh, yeah, I wasn't going for that guy. <laughs> Thank you so much, and you have a great week. See ya. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Spice it up. Man.